Hey guys, it's me, Nico. We're doing the late vlog again. Um, recapping my weekend. Uh, really, guys, uh, I would have done this vlog last night, but uh, last night is when I arrived back from Los Angeles. Um, and overall, the weekend down there was pretty great. Uh, very, very satisfyingly fun weekend. And, um, right now, I'm just chilling, watching some of the older episodes of Nitro Circus Live. Um, and I'm gonna recap a lot of the events that went on, uh, since the last vlog. So, I told you guys in the last vlog I was gonna be going to L.A., um, or at least a, a suburb of L.A., uh, Costa Mesa, for my Aunt Karen's wedding. Uh, the wedding itself was very, very quick ceremony. It was a lot quicker than my Auntie Christine's, who was actually my Auntie Karen's sister. Um, you know, it's, it was actually a lot faster than their wedding. Their wedding, the actual wedding itself took maybe about an hour, hour and a half. The wedding ceremony here took about maybe like 30 minutes to about 45, so it's a lot quicker. Um, the reception was actually held at the same place that the wedding was, uh, um, done at, so, uh, the main difference in this was because my Aunt Christine, the one, uh, who is the sister, the one who I said at the longer wedding, was more traditionally Catholic, we actually, they actually got married in the church and had the reception at another place, whereas here, my Aunt Karen did an outdoor wedding, which is, you know, not traditional Catholic, um, thing, you know, that's not Catholic tradition to get married, um, outside of a chapel, but it happened, um, and, uh, overall it was a pretty good wedding, uh, you know, saw a lot of the family there, you know, food was so par, uh, I ended up hanging out with pretty much, like, all, a lot of my cousins, uh, for most of the time, uh, this is, uh, actually, um, this is actually on the Saturday, Friday, it was just mostly the drive. Uh, we drove out to um, L.A. like late night. We drove out uh, at like around, um, we left Fresno at about like 4, actually no, like not 4, like maybe like 4.30 to maybe like 5 o'clock. And we actually got in L.A. at um, close to around 12, th uh, not 12, 10.30 to about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, it's the first time we actually traveled through the grapevine at night, and it's kind of creepy just because, I mean, you know, the grapevine, it's a mountain, you know, it's this long stretch of mountain that basically cuts off, um, the rest of, it basically divides the South, uh, South California from Central California, and basically you gotta go through that stretch of mountains to get into Los Angeles from, um, Fresno, you know, or Bakersfield or any other, um, you know, uh, Central Valley town or city, uh, if you want to go down to Southern California. And that's true, uh, for Northern California or any other state. That's if you're driving, though. Of course, if you could fly, then, you know, of course, you'll just fly over the grapevines. But, um, you know, we had to go through that at night. And it was kind of creepy because, you know, it's a long stretch of mountain, very, very windy roads. And if you're not paying attention, you usually fall off or crash into somebody. And uh, it was really creepy. Uh, even though I wasn't driving, I was in the passenger seat. So, you know, I was seeing what the driver was seeing. And the driver, you know, was my mom. So, it was kind of creepy, you know. But we made it through, obviously. I'm still here today. Uh, we managed to get that done. We arrived at the hotel safely. Woke up the next morning. Uh, the wedding wasn't for a while. Got ready for the wedding. Uh, wedding ceremony actually took place. And after that was the wedding reception. Um... You know, socialized with a lot of the cousins, I said, like I said, uh, didn't like some of the samplers that they were serving. They're like, you know, it was more like a preppy wedding, if you guys know what I'm saying. You know, uh, they kind of like, uh, while they were getting the interior uh, ready of the uh, place where they did the wedding, because it was uh, kind of like a botanical garden kind of thing outside, which is where they actually had the wedding, and the ceremony was actually uh, taking place in the next building over. 
So while they were prepping the building, everybody was just outside chilling out. Um, you know, they had like two min. They had like the major bar, which was inside the hotel, not the hotel, the uh, facility, and then they had the mini bar that was outside that bar, uh, not the bar, outside the uh, building, right in the garden. And they were also serving, um, you know, mini quiches, appetizers, stuff like that. Uh, I personally hang out with my cousin Raquel and a couple of my other cousins, but mostly her. Um, she's like only three weeks older than me, yet she's one of the shorter cousins, but one of the clo cousins I'm closer to. I hung out with her for most of the wedding, and uh, it was pretty fun. We pretty much wanted to see who could drink the most Shirley Temples at the end of the night because we were both kind of like bored and out of it, just because like of how um, both wedding parties weren't really socializing with each other. So, you know, we just wanted to see how that went with each other. Uh, plus, we were both kind of hungry, too. So, uh, we doused down whatever we could as far as sweets and stuff like that. There was a ton of candy and, sh and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, it was just an overall great experience. Uh, the food was okay, like the main courses. I love the salad. Salad was pretty good. I'm, you never catch me saying anything about salad, but that salad was bomb. Uh, I pr I'd like to say I gained about 10 pounds just from that one night and I'd like to say I gained two more pounds um, from the morning after after the ceremony we um, you know we managed to get away from the hotel at like uh, 12 o'clock and then we ended up passing out the next morning we got ready and we went over to um, Alhambra which is another suburb of LA that's more closer to LA than Costa Mesa is Costa Mesa is more southwest from the main Los Angeles corridor um, Alhambra is more straight up south, um, but not too far south from Alhambra, more like south to southeast. So we went there and we hanged out there uh, for like most of the day because uh, we just wanted to, basically it was uh, after the wedding prayer for my aunt's uh, dad, my grandpa Benny, who I told you guys before in a previous vlog passed away. Um, we decided to do that prayer just to, in honor of him, you know, the fact that he couldn't be there to experience the wedding for Auntie Karen and, uh, you know, just honor his memory and his life since, you know, all the family was there to see that and pretty much some of the family members who did make it to the wedding couldn't make it to the funeral. So, you know, that was also to help honor that. Um, and, uh, we ate a lot there as well. That's a common thing with Filipinos. When we, either when we're celebrating, when we get together, you know there's going to be a lot of food, a lot of fattening food, and a lot of eating. Okay? I'm going to let you know right now. Um, I'm not the skinniest person in the world, and even some of my skinnier cousins will tell you that we like to eat. Okay? It's, it's, that's, that's a no-brainer. That's one thing you can tell about Filipinos automatically, is that, you know, they're really embracing their culture, we embrace our food, and when we get together, we love to eat. That's it. That's the bottom line. So, long story short, uh, I ate a lot there, hung out with all of my cousins again. Um, it's like the Central Valley weather moved down south because it was hot as hell for LA. Usually LA stays at about um, maybe like 80s pre-summer. Okay, it was like freaking 90, and you know, sh weather that you expect from the Central Valley. So, you know, of course, a lot of the southern folks weren't used to it. Uh, used to it. Uh, me, I was kind of used to it just because, you know, out here it's kind of hot. I'm kind of burning it up right now. Uh, got the fan rolling. I just don't have the other portable fan rolling because I'm too lazy to roll that out. But, yeah, took care of that. Um, ate there, hung out with family again. And shortly after that, we just left. Uh, my grandparents actually stayed because there was another prayer um, that same night. And uh, my mom, my little brother, and me, we all left Alhambra and went straight back to Fresno. And we were also worn out, so we just emptied the truck. Or not emptied the truck, we emptied the rental car. And um, after that, we just chilled for the rest of the night and just laid it out. So that was that Sunday. Uh, the wedding was on that Saturday. I already told you about that. And then the Friday, I didn't do much um, pre leaving for LA, you know, uh, at least the events that I did do weren't really significant to, you know, mention in this video, but yeah, 
Um, throughout the weekend, I was trying to check in with a lot of my friends who went to Brick Fair in New England. Of course, I do remember that. I was checking in with David a lot. Um, I uh, messaged uh, TRS Le TRLS Legos fan um, or Sean. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to see how the experience was with them. You know, I just wanted to check in and see how they were doing. You know, I've been keeping up with Flickr and YouTube. Uh, haven't watched uh, 27 Lego Kids Hall from Brick Fair, New England. Uh, I've seen a lot of the photos. I would have liked to have seen a lot more cooler Star Wars mocks. The only Star Wars mock I actually saw was um, Sean's that he brought. I didn't really see any others that he had highlighted or that this other guy who I'm following on Flickr had highlighted. So... I was kind of disappointed, but the mocks that I did see from Brick Fair New England were pretty cool. I mean, a lot of the mocks um, I saw were fairly similar to the stuff I would kind of expect from Bricks by the Bay. So, kind of disappointed in that, especially since this is the first year for that convention. You know, I would have loved to have, you know, been there and actually witnessed uh, all the people from that area of the United States coming in to support that. And I would have loved to have seen the actual ideas there, um, you know, the actual mocks that were there, uh, a lot of the stuff that Sean, and I'm pretty sure David caught it all on tape if he did a vlog or if the, he did a, like a Brick Fair New England video, which I'm pretty sure he didn't do. Um, last non-Brick Fair Virginia video he did was back on um, Brick Fair Alabama, back when him and Michael MGF were still friends back last year. Um, you know, January of last year. Uh, I'm not sure if he did that again this year um, for Brick Fair New England, but if he did, I'm pretty sure he's going to post the video, but I'm guaranteeing you guys it'll probably be a month to two months late, depending on how swamped he is with getting business on Mayface for you back up and regulating since, you know, he was gone for about a weekend. Um, you know, about four days. So, you know, that is pretty much my weekend that's what i was keeping track of over the weekend lego wise and now all i'm doing is just relaxing trying to get some homework done watching nitro circus jolene van nut she is wow definitely one of the baddest chicks i know around she is fine as hell i can tell you what a chick who could ride a motorcycle up uh, not motorcycle she does bmx motocross and she's total tomboy total crush big time she ever comes across this hey i'm just saying look good you look good so anyways off that um just sitting here chilling now trying to get back into the system you know put the little pup to sleep um he finally got his e-collar off the e-collar is actually right there you can see on the corner of the table that's the little thing that he was wearing a couple of days ago uh, for the neutering he has not chewed at his sutures which is good because if he did then he would probably be in the ER right now. Um, he has just been really, really happy since he got that thing off. You know, he can run around now and he can squeeze back into places that he shouldn't be in, you know, do all the crap that he was doing before he got neutered. Um, so that was a really nice thing to see. Scary thing, though, is today, even though, uh, well, in addition to getting seed collar off, he got on that huge-ass table. And Biscuit, and, you know, he's like... Yay small, actually the yay small, okay, he jumped on one of those chairs, and he actually jumped on the table, so that was really, really scary for me, seeing him that high off the ground, okay, and he jumped off the table, like from the table, he jumped back onto the ground, which is kind of scary, because I, you know, he had very small, fragile legs, and I didn't want to break his legs, <sighs> just crazy day, and with, with that, trying to take care of him, and uh, trying to catch my homework, I didn't get a chance to get caught up on a lot of the videos that I need to do. So I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm gonna do all the videos that I need to upload. And uh, after that, I am, you know, well, before that, actually, yeah, videos first, then go to school. And then after that, I'm gonna be working with the team. We're gonna be finishing Yavin, the Yavin 4 mock off landscape wise, and it will be done for sure. As far as landscape goes, figures will come right after that. But landscaping wise, it will be done. And I'll also have a lot more cool stuff for you. As usual, I'll have some of the stuff I did over the weekend in the description. And I will definitely get back into the system of making vlogs daily. I told you guys I'd get out of the system because I was in L.A. But now I'm back. 
So let's get it done. And also to my boys who went to Brickfair, New England, congratulations. I hope the convention was a success for you. Uh, you know, for the people who made the convention, I hope it was a great success. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.